Hello my dear beauties, welcome to my channel. And if you came here to check out this latest what lace, then please continue to watch. Before we get into this review, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be up to date when I upload new videos. Today's wig review is a collaboration with Ebony Line. They reached out to me and they sent me out this latest cloud nine swiss lace wig 100 percent premium fiber what lace now i have her in the style reina and i have it in the color money piece rose gold and it says natural density hairline illusion lace wig i chose this color because i was curious on what the money piece gold looked like i was on the assumption that it would be more on the rose gold side it's giving me more of a gray hue than it is of a rose gold. As you get towards the back of the unit, you get more of the rose gold, a very slight hint of rose gold. So yeah, if you're looking for a complete rose gold unit, this might not be the one because it's more of a hint of rose gold than it is a full on rose gold. Now I do love the ombre color. They did a really good job. And as far as if you wanna know if it's dark rooted throughout, it is not. It is dark rooted mostly up in this area. And as you get to the very back, which the nape is becomes full on rose gold or white gray with the rose gold. As with most of the wet lace line, you get that natural and realistic hairline as I reviewed in the past. This wig does come with combs, one at the back, two on the sides, or at the temples, and your standard adjustable straps. As far as big head friendly, I feel like this is very big head friendly. Tingling, I have been experienced tingling with a lot of these really, really light, either between gray and white units. They tend to tangle, I guess, because of the colorway, because I do have two other wet lace and they don't tangle like this. They tangle a little bit, but they don't tangle as much as this one did. And I think it's because of the colorway. As far as shedding, I got minimum shedding. You do have to remove the lace from the front of the perimeter of this unit. There is no lace in the back. I decided to do a natural comb over. I didn't do a really defined part. I just did a flip over and yeah. So that's what we're working with. Let me go ahead and give you a close up of the color. This is what the color looks like in the dark roots. And you can party anywhere on this unit. You see my cap peeking through right here. As you can see, I didn't lay down my baby hairs because I just wanted you guys to see the natural hairline of this unit. It does have a little bit of baby hairs around the perimeter of the front. So let me kind of give you that 360s. This hair is really long. I want to say this hair is about 24 to 26 inches long. The hair runs on me, so it will tend to tangle because of that alone, because it's that long. Then you have the colorway. It's a really light colorway. A lot of times with the light colorways, it tend to tangle more than the more natural to more toned down colors. So let me know what you guys think about this wig. If you have her, if you purchased any other colors, let me know down in the comment section below. I want to say a huge thank you to Everything life for saying that this wig to review. I think she's still gorgeous. This unit will take me a while to get used to, but I do think she's cute. I'll leave all information along with the link to purchase down in the description box below. So please don't forget to check that out. And as always, to my next one, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please continue to share so I can come to you more content and things you would like to see. As always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time. Bye. I'm a pull up, pull up, pull up on you. Pull up, pull up, pull up on you. Pull up, pull up, pull up.